Hi! This is my first video in the new year and first of all I wanted to thank all of you who left very kind comments and festive messages under my few recent videos and even if I didn't have enough time to answer each and every comment I wanted to say that I read every everything and every comment made me very happy and they inspire me to continue to make my videos better so in this video i wanted to show you a very small art hall i decided to buy myself some watercolor paper to practice my watercolor skins so here i have a paper from the canson we don't have a nice choice of paper in our art store so I was quite happy to find at least a decent student grade quality paper and this is a 300 density paper and <laughs> I have two packs of the watercolor paper and one pack for the mixed media techniques and this paper is a little bit smoother surface and this has more rough surface and I hope that on this paper I will be able to draw something with my acrylic paints or with my gouache paints. Next I want to show you small extension of my Faber-Castell bead pens. You probably remember that I buy them individually. Here is my set so far and I was able to find another five colors which I missed and I really in love with this Faber-Castell bead pens I like the quality of the nib and I don't have any problems even with my oldest pens here they are still very nice and thin they never bleed through and Colors are very natural and maybe the only problem which I had so far is that my grey colors and I have warm grey too and cold grey they are run off quite quickly this pen I never have some such problems with the, uh, these colors but greys are a little bit runoff so I needed another grey pens especially for my uh, Lizzie Mary Cullen books you know that for drawing walls or streets it's urgently necessary to have some natural colors so and I prefer to use pens not pencils for the tiny details so I was happy to find Ecoline brush pens here they are they are Dutch from the Royal Talents and they have also a very nice tip. I bought them individually but they are also available in the sets. They also have quite bright colors but I prefer to start with the natural ones. So I have a cold grey and sepia. And what I uh, really like is that inside of these pens we have a, a liquid watercolors. We have the Ecoline watercolors in bottles and also inside of these pens. So they are refillable. You just can to pour some liquid watercolors from the Ecoline inside of the pen and refill them. Very easy and very nice. And you probably saw the, uh, that I already use them a lot in my Lizzie Mary Cullen Magical Journey, Magical Christmas, but some people ask me what are they like, so now when I tested them, I can say that I'm really happy with this addition to my art supply collection. And next I bought another set natural looking colors, three uh, coloring brush pens. These pencils are Japanese, they are not refillable. They also have a very nice tip. They also are water based, so they 
don't bleed through and again I have natural colors this one is raw amber it's a woody brown and warm gray again everything from this Mary Collins book next I bought myself some paints I decided to buy more acrylic paints so I here here I have Russian acrylic paints it's the same manufacturer who um, uh, produce uh, white knights watercolor so the, this is the artist quality acrylic paints nice small tubes and I like the colors here we have the it's a Nevskaya Palitra, the name of the manufacturer. Here we have the information about the light fastness and the name of the pigments. Next I bought some Ukrainian, very cheap acrylic paints. They are not artist quality, they are more like for the decoration they are matte and very nice looking vintage colors i bought them for doing very quick backgrounds next i bought again Ukrainian acrylic paints but of the artist quality and here I have my favorite indigo uh, paints great and also turquoise again for creating quick backgrounds and they are really nice I will make a special video uh, where I will try to explain the difference between the watercolors acrylic paints and gouache paints but as I already said, acrylic paints is very useful for coloring books because they are already liquid inside. So when you use them for your background, you don't have to add waters. So even in on the thin paper, you won't have any problems with leaking, with bleeding through. So acrylic paint is a nice solution for the background and for the if you have a thin paper. The next colors are from the Royal Terence Dutch paints again. They are also artist quality. I bought just colors which I was able to find in our shops which I liked. And this one so far is my favorite. You probably was able to see it when I uh, colored a uh, visit the background in the Swedish coloring book. And this is the grayish blue. I will show you all colors on in my sketchbook in the end of this video. To on each paint we have the information about the light fastness, about the opacity because some paints are transparent some paints are opaque and I think that all paints are very very useful and the last thing I bought for myself is gouache paints gouache paints are the most opaque paints which I know again the, they are Russian the same manufacturer as the white knights the name is a master masterclass they are artist grade gouache paints and they are nice and opaque they create very uh, smooth matte surface and i think that this is really my must have for the next col uh, coloring year and i will try to create interesting backgrounds using them and interesting effects and so far i am very eager to try it also for drawing that was my very small art haul again thank you for watching thank you for all your kind words 
And if you are interested in the end of the video, I will swatch very, very quickly all my new colors of the paints. And until the next videos, thanks for watching, bye bye!
Thank you.